Horsefed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Ellie Morgan. Wow. We here at SourceFed do a lot of space stories. Why? Well, I feel like it's obvious, okay? I mean, it's the great beyond, it's the great unknown. Plus, duh, Elliot and I want to be astronauts. Yeah, how have you not picked up on that already? I mean, I would be an astronaut already if it wasn't for me failing the freaking Rorschach test. Yeah, and um, I'm allergic to space. She's allergic to space. She's allergic to space. So, those dreams were crushed a while ago, okay? But there's still hope for you, rest of the world, because if my predictions come true, well, we're gonna be living in space in no time flat. Yeah, we've talked about NASA's missions to Mars being a very near and very real thing that'll happen in the future. And now, it seems that in order to prepare for those Mars missions, NASA wants to build a manned base that'll be parked beyond the dark side of the moon. It'll be a type of gateway spacecraft, the starting point for the manned Mars expeditions. It'll be 277,000 miles from Earth. FYI, the International Space Station is only 230 miles away, so that should just give you a little bit of perspective. And although it seems awesome, it does have complications. Like, are you gonna protect astronauts from radiation? And give a ship that's a quarter of a million miles away supplies? But that kind of stuff is left up to the brilliant minds at NASA. Yeah, the brilliant minds that'll be choosing a parking spot in space that will balance the ship between the gravitational pull of the Earth and the Moon. Cause that sounds safe. Essentially, NASA is just looking to make a place that is a test area for human access to deep space and to develop required flight experience and mitigate risk. That whole space floating thing still worries me though, Lee. Yeah. Duh, totally. And again, NASA doesn't even know if the US Congress will support the multi-billion dollar project, but with their fingers crossed and moving forward, the project would currently be built at an estimated $3 billion a year and would be ready in 2017. Then, after that, the moon! Wait, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, after the space base or gateway spacecraft is built, NASA's gonna put an outpost on the moon. Wait, I can totally man a moon base, you know? Oh. You wouldn't need to pass like, <clears throat> Like a psych evaluation for that, would you? No, I really don't think you will. L, you might have a chance at this. Oh, damn my stupid space allergy. I'm sorry. No, buddy, live your dream. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like mutiny demon murder to you, does it? Kind of looks like mutiny demon murder to me. I'm going to say it's a butterfly. So guys, if you could have the chance to man a Mars base, would you? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation for our five daily stories, send us in photos with you and all of your source fed gear. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. What do you see? I don't know, kittens jumping over a puppy? Exactly, mutiny demon murder. Okay.